ओके बैक अगेन अब पीच पी फ्रेम वर्क ट्यूटोरियल सीरीज सो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव शोन यू हाउ टू लोड द कंट्रोलर सो नाउ लेट्स मूव टू द मेथड द सेकंड पार्ट ऑफ अवर यू आर सो अगेन इट्स समवट सिमिलर आई विल गो टू द कंट्रोलर core class not the controller core class and uh, inside this i can uh, check uh, with the the method exists in the controller or not okay uh so if it is exist which means if is set url1 because first we need to check inside the url whether the method is specified or not so if the method is specified then we check if the method is exist inside the class or not so method exist uh Which class? The current controller. And which method? This method is specified in the URL first index. Okay, because zero index is the controller. First index is the method. If it exists, then simply set is as a current method. Current method. URL one. And for the demonstration purposes, I will simply echo the content. Okay. Echo this current method. Okay. And uh, let me go to the pages and let me create a few. uh methods like uh, the index will be there so initial or default method so i will simply uh i don't need to echo any things it's just there and public function uh maybe let's say about okay so these two functions are exist inside the pages controller So if I go to the pages, and if I call the um, about, then it says the about. Okay. Ah, uh, this is the pages control. I think. Ah, uh, inside the controller. No, it's not the controller. Pages controller. You don't need to have this because it's just a constructor. Right, so about method this code, right? Which means it works. Then uh, we can take the parameter list, right? So how do we take the parameter list? Ah, uh, to go to the for class, and instead of printing this. Current method get parameter list. I will specify like this. So params is params. Okay, param is our array. So I will simply check the URL and I will check the array values. um i think uh, before moving to the array values i must unset the url one as well uh yeah so unset the url one now our array won't be having the controller or method so it will just having having the entire parameter list right so since it having the entire parameter list If such array values exist, 
if such array values exist then take it as the parameter list and it must uh, be having all the parameter list if array values are not specified which means it it's empty then I just simply return a empty array okay and uh, yeah and after taking the parameter list we must pass this sorry this must be URL we must pass this parameter list to the corresponding function so call or functions or method call method and pass the parameter list so call user function array uh, so array must specify the which controller so current controller and which method so this <coughs> sorry uh, this method and which sort of parameters so parameter is itself an array no? so we don't need to explicitly declare it as array we can simply pass it as like this okay then i think it must work so it must it passing the parameter list so i will just uh, go to the about function or about method and i will take it as id or maybe i don't know maybe let's say name uh, then i can simply echo the thing i uh, name. so if our co is correctly working after we declaring corresponding controller corresponding method and granting the corresponding parameter list it must call the corresponding controller method then uh, it must pass the parameter list okay so in our case if i call the post uh, forward slash uh, not not the uh, post uh, pages forward slash about forward slash some sort of a name it must print hi and that's name okay so pages about uh, I will simply say my name, okay, Danushka. So yeah, it says hi Danushka, which means uh, our methods and parameter passing it correctly working. Yeah, I think uh, now we are almost done in our core class, uh, and I will show more stuffs in the next video. And uh, thank you.